all right here's the update on the system i've got a lot of mulch right here i'm gonna have to spread out or move i'm probably going to move this pile to some of the flower beds around the rest remainder of the house uh, i still haven't figured out what to do with the the barrels those have a uh, teflon liner in them uh, so i can use them with the system uh, they won't rust or contaminate the water uh, they are were food grade anyway uh, but then i leveled out the ground all the way across here because there were going to be five IBC totes as fish tanks. Uh, those blocks are just extra blocks, but uh, I don't have any more IBCs right now. My my supplier kind of fell down on me, but I'm working on it. But anyway, these two are going to be set up as fish tanks for the time being. You can see the sump down there that's buried and the three inch drain that's coming off of these four grow beds. Uh, I started cutting the sides so that there's no openings in the uh, IBC uh, grow beds except the one that I make for my uh, auto siphon and because of that you have to cut the cage sideways as well so there's no cage on this side which is why I have the deck boards running down there to support that side and it also helps keep that uh, cage from spreading. Uh, As you can see, I got all the gravel in. I've been washing it this morning. Uh, everything's set pretty good. I'm gonna try using the elbows to control the water flow. I saw a video on YouTube where a guy did it. I can't remember who he is, uh, or I'd give him credit, but it wasn't my idea, so I'm not taking credit either. But he basically just took the elbows and twisted them to adjust uh, where the, or the amount of flow coming through. Uh, in a gravity fed system which is what this is going to be you can see the feed line coming all the way from that fish tank out and over uh, to all these beds I just capped it until I can do these two beds uh, since I didn't decide until after I had set up the emergency system uh, to cut the grow beds from the sides rather than top and bottom say as you can see there's the leftover pieces you can see that i eliminated the top hole and the bottom drain so i don't have to worry about anything like that leaking or trying to silicone it shut or anything like that uh, the grow beds are solid pieces except for the one hole that i drilled in them for the auto siphons but at any rate since i'd already cut this one the way it's cut <coughs> I'm gonna when I move these fish, I'm gonna cut the the lower section the same way to make a grow bed out of it, and then I'll move it them over and place them where these two uh, tank bottoms are. This was a filter that I'd set up temporarily. Uh, at any rate, that's why I was talking about if I can slide this one into the back of my pickup truck somehow, then maybe I can just back my truck up and slide it right out and in instead of pulling the plants up and trying to take the gravel out and everything else. I'll just have to wait and see what happens with it. But at any rate, that's what those two are for. That way there'll be six down that side of the greenhouse, six down the other side of the greenhouse, uh, two sets of three in the center of the greenhouse, and then a couple of floating raft tables. Uh, or maybe one set of three and another, add one more floating raft table that might be the direction I go in but yeah I know the yards a mess it's like I said it's a work in progress it was a nightmare it's been years since I've been able to do anything because of my disability I'm finally getting where I can get up and do a little bit but I can only uh, get up and, and move around for a couple hours a day so it's slow going and uh, to move the gravel I would just fill the buckets a little bit about halfway uh, stack them on a hand truck so I could roll them back here uh, and get it done that way but there's the drain underneath i'll go through all that in more detail on another video i just wanted to give an update of how things were going so i'm i've got to finish this bed then i'm going to reassemble the stand pipes the bell siphons and connect everything to the drain get all that silicone and go ahead and fill these two fish tanks and get the water circulating so that the chlorine can start to evaporate. Uh, I might wind up doing some treatment in it uh, to go ahead and get rid of the chlorine and moving some water and some gravel 
from my indoor breeding setup out here to give the bacteria a boost. I've got a bag of gravel in a, in a mesh media bag, a large, really large mesh media bag uh, in my sump that I put in there so the bacteria could grow on it. And uh, that way I can move it out here and give the bacteria a kickstart. Plus I've got, uh, I can probably pull about 50 gallons from the indoor setup out here uh, the which will give me a bunch of bacteria to get things going so as soon as I have stuff to plant out here I can move fish over and go ahead and get things planted I don't have to wait a month month and a half for things to cycle <laughs>